to another episode with me, Bellfire, and today we're back in the Bontemi Corporation with Bellfire. And we are working with T-05-41. So, let's see how well this does. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, you are definitely an H-E, I would assume. At least, yeah. H-E or WA, one of those two. No, H-E or Teth. One of those two. Because, uh, wait. Teth, Teth. H-E, H-E. Huh. Huh. I didn't realize this before. But the anomalies, or all the departments, start out with one very easy to take care of anomaly, whether that be HE or TEF. Huh. I never realized that before until now. So, for example, say I wanted, oh, I don't know. Um, like, today's Shine Look, for example. I think this was the first anomaly of this department. I would have to look back, but I don't feel like doing that. So I think that was the first anomaly I had. Yes, because it goes here, here, here. No, it was the Dreaming Current. Then it was today. today's Shine Look. Then, Theresa... Theresia, and then Clouded Monk, and so on and so forth. So really, if I wanted to, I could get a completely new employee working down here, and they'd be perfectly fine. And I'm actually curious, what is the safest anomaly? Zion, then Teth. Then WA, no, then HE, then WA, then Aleph. That's the order. Oh, yeah, you love instinct work. Little helper. I uh, hopes that little helper's cleaning mode is never activated. <laughs> All around helper. So that's your name. All around helper. My god. Okay. Instinct. There we go. Interesting. Little bit of knowledge. So you are you are an H E. Oh boy. I want to see your cleaning mode to be honest. So Insight. And it's not like you could take down Bellfire. It's if uh what with high probability, yep. Oh yeah. Drop. Okay. Let me figure out what you're weak to at least, then move on from there. Because training team is supposed to suppress four anomalies. Well, training team, that's you. You need to suppress four individual anomalies, so might as well get to work on that. Uh, endured, vulnerable to pale, and black damage. Huh, okay. And you, I'm assuming, deal 3 to 5 white. 
or three to five red. Show them Raj, I would like you right there, please. And then there are these two anomalies which can be suppressed. Then I need one more anomaly that can escape that isn't a big threat. That can be suppressed. I guess Porcubus. Or Porcubus, whatever you want to call it. Um... Just sit right there, bud. Thank you. And Bellfire, let's have you move up to there along with you two. Actually, no. Let me have all of you move up here. There we go. As all round helper is activated. What the heck? Oh. Okay. Doesn't seem that bad of an anomaly to suppress. Be much worse. Oh, that's fun. And this is a very interesting anomaly to suppress. Just simply because of that attack. There we go. There is one anomaly out of four suppressed. Well, the next one that can be suppressed, I guess, is you. Can be done by Epic. Please. Thank you. Void dream thing. Hate to break it to you, but you need to be repressed just simply because you're an easy re repression. Okay. How's an easy way to get you to escape? Well, it looks like when the work result was bad. Okay. So someone with higher than temperance 2. Anyone with temperance higher than 2. Wait, don't you not like attachment? You should be easy to get to escape. You should be easy to make escape. Where? There he is. Have him down in this hole, please. Who else did I wind up... I did wind up suppressing Clouded Monk at one point. That wasn't all that fun. Then there's Forsaken Murder, which I can also do. And I can use this uh, Quifloff Meltdown Timer to my advantage. Perfect. Depending on who's escaping, that is. Like for these, dream of, uh, dream of a black swan. I've no. Oh wait, you don't escape. Uh. 
Oh. No, wait. I don't know how you work. At all. Which is concerning, but oh well. Needs to be three individ three more individual anomalies, so <laughs> Clouded Monks okay, I guess. Um can I really handle Clouded Monk? Uh what are you weak to when you escape? Red damage. So, yes. I can. Who's going to escape first? Not Scorched Girl. Definitely not Scorched Girl. You're good, and you're also good. Uh, you need to hurry up and get up there. Um, hey, where did you go? There you are. Shadow Mirage, thank you. Let me just go ahead and get... You know what? Just to get some help. Just in case, you know. I'll get Bellfire. Over. Oh, 250 damage. Great. Where's Bellfire? So. Oh, he's just now. Over. Bellfire, I want you to wait up there. There we go. I think this will work. Both of you, I want to head over here. Because he's going to head left. I'm not going to move in. Oh, whoops. Almost missed that cue. Go, 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 go. There we go. There we go. Second anomaly suppressed. Whew. There we go. Then one more time with attachment, but this time I will not be going Shadow Mirage because you need to heal, my good sir. But Epic Latino is more than welcome to. Uh, is this your... Is that your area, Royal Art? I did not think so. There we go. And Void Dream, I don't know how, how I'll do that, but I want to get the training team individual abnormalities suppressed thing done. 
because that thing has been pending for a while now. And I'm getting kind of tired at looking at, of looking at it. Perfect. As long as you aren't the one being targeted, nope. That's perfect. Dang it. Well, that didn't go too good. Of course. Had to enter right when it went off. Great. Well, I know exactly what will make you in s escape. Shadow Mirage, down here, please. I mean, yeah, really. Like, what are you going to do against someone with 106 health and only takes 0.5 of what you dish out? And at least, like, one or two more times, I think. Once more, I believe. And as for you, I'll go ahead and do repression work to get you started. Escape, please. There we go. Time to teach it a lesson. Yeah, this is a very simple attack pattern to get down. here. Well, actually, no. Let's have you head right there. There we go. Okay. You are supposed to love instinct work. I was about to say. Fingers crossed that's only one more. And Clouded Monk's a relatively easy anomaly to suppress as long as you have pale damage. I'm trying to think of who else there is. I mean, Void Dream, if you have a ranged weapon, and I don't think um, Shadow Mirage needs to be the one to suppress them, per se. It just, it sounds correct in my head if I do it like that. Or makes se more sense in my head if I do that. At least in, that's what it does for me, so... Please be this time that you escape, please. How are you not escaped yet? It's a high probability. How? 
is my only question. Okay. This time are you going to escape? Because if you are, that's going to make my la- Are you just not going to escape on the first quiet love counter? That would make sense. Huh. Okay. Oh, thank the Lord, it's not that one. No, and yes, you need to be worked with. So Void Dream, I'm going to need to call down... <sighs> yeah, Stardust. Just, just simply because she has the range on it. Please? Fingers crossed, please. There we go. Order suppression by... Now I just need to find who exactly has the, a match above their head. I don't see it. Oh dear, that's not good. Let me also get Stardust on it just to be safe. <laughs> yep, it doesn't matter who does it. Okay, good. I'll have you both up here while it escapes. Yep, and then you two need to... Actually, no. Wait for Void Dream to get out. I'll have Stardust wait over here. There we go. There's three out of the four I need. I just need one more. So either Clouded Monk. Don't know why I haven't made that yet. The only thing is you deal white damage, and if Stardust goes insane... Well, white and white. Low white damage to compared to very high white damage. So, I'll have you waiting here, along with Bellfire, and Stardust waiting in the hallway just in t case um, Royal Art goes insane. There we go. This should be my fourth abnormality. If I can get f uh, Clouded Monk to escape, that is. Where's Bellfire? Ah. There he is. And once you're done, I want you up there. What's bad? Uh, zero to six. Dang it. Or I could just work with Forsaken Murder. You don't like repression. I see. There, there we go. Perfect one to do it. Oh no. Perfect. I need you right up here with Forsaken Murder, please. For that reason.
Yeah! There we go. I just want to be a good person cleared. Good. Okay. Instinct. And things are back to normal. So if I have a, if I recommend you get any anomalies, uh, F-01-O2, T-01-54, T-02-99, and last but not least, T-05-41. Those are the ones I recommend you get. Because it'll make your life so much easy, easier for that uh, mission, quest, whatever you want to say. It'll make your life a lot easier. And sure, you're an HE, but you're no match to the Aleph level person I have working with you. Yeah, I'm just realizing how powerful Bellfire actually is. Full Aleph gear. One thing you can't even get or can't get without dueling an anomaly. In melee combat, might I add. Grinder Mark IV. Is that what the glasses are called? Grinder Mark IV. Work success rate plus three. Work speed plus three. Compared to two, two, and insert work success rate plus three percent. Um, I don't know which is better for that, to be perfectly honest. Oh, punishing burden. Nope, I am not doing that with you. Because if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Max Maximin was ordered to suppress Punishing Bird when they tried to attack it. The central portion of the abnormality split and redacted afterward. Maximin was confirmed to have died. The suppression ended in failure. Punishing Bird, do what you want. Just don't torture the uh, control team. That's all I ask. No torturing the control team. Who is it? Again? Well, go fire, please. Yep. Yep. And goodbye. That was very fast. Okay. So, time to do a combination of a qu purposeful Quifloff Meltdown, uh, you, uh, you like repression, you like in, attachment or instinct? You like attachment more than instinct, you like ins, instinct, and you like Attachment. You don't like her oppression, though. Actually, no. You love attachment. You like repression ish. I know it's instinct. Insight. That can't be done. Oh boy, this won't be good. I can tell you that already. This will not be good. Okay, Fruit of Understanding. Got it. They don't deal damage, really. Um, I'm going to have to get you two to go. Whoever's left. Okay. I'll need you there. You there. You to get up there quick. And then as soon as Stardust is done, we'll have to move on. Or actually, maybe not. 
That one's been taken care of, taken care of. Fully taken care of. There we go. Okay. Then I need everyone to get off a, a cooldown, and then I'll do another massive burst. Because that's really the only way to do this. Is with bursts, I have learned. Uh, well, hang on. Don't get so ready yet. Because someone's still healing from the previous one. There we go. Boom. Attachment. Why am I even doing you? Well, I mean, other than leveling people up, really no other reason. Uh, yep. You, for whatever reason, like repression work. You like... Best, I would say, insight. And you like instinct and attachment. And then, of course, you like instinct. Yep, this is going to be a total quiet flip meltdown scenario. Definitely. If this one, if melting love gets activated, I am in so much trouble. Because I can't really suppress melting love. Because I don't really have a good long range black damage weapon. No way I am one short. No way. Really? That is surprising. Oh my, I just realized how far over time I am. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that amazing stuff. And I will see all of you in the next episode. And don't worry, I will complete the day off camera. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.